maybe maybe you have a, a relative giving something away and hey, let's give it a second life and try it again. Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to The Creative Corner, episode two. Today I'm here with my good friend, Christy Chi, who makes content all about slow fashion, ethical fashion, things like that. <laughs> Thanks for having me on, Casey. So I'm passionate about slow and ethical fashion and advocating for climate and environmental justice. I really enjoy creating YouTube videos and any types of content to bring more awareness to these topics and the issues surrounding them. So the first question for today is define ethical fashion versus sustainable fashion. And are they the same thing? Yeah, that's a really great question. I would say that both terms are generally used interchangeably as they support the same things and there's definitely some overlap but each one does emphasize different things so with ethical fashion there's a really big focus on social impact of the fashion industry such as gender equality across the supply chain advocating for more fair labor laws increasing living wages improving working conditions and being more mindful of animal welfare and with sustainable fashion, I would say it really stems from the concept of sustainability, which is to minimize the usage of natural resources in order to preserve them for future generations. It addresses questions like, is the garment made to last long? How is it being produced? Is it using eco-friendly materials? What does its end of life look like? And I would also really want to introduce a new term, which is called slow fashion. Slow fashion really focuses on slowing down the process of creating clothes while still keeping sustainability in mind. So, you know, this is not pushing out 70 new styles of clothes a week, ahem, for 21. Um, it's also about purchasing less and extending the life of current clothes that we have. So, you know, if folks are able to, it's worth investing in higher quality items that last longer and supporting the work of artisans. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for differentiating the three terms. We have ethical, sustainable, and slow. Mm. For you, what got you interested in ethical fashion? My transition to slow and ethical fashion really started around 2018. During this time, I was in college. I had switched from majoring in pre-business to sustainability studies. And from sustainability, I was learning about how Black people, Indigenous people, and people of color facing higher risks and are disproportionately impacted by environmental hazards, in which many are created by industries like you know, agricultural, transportation, and of course, fashion. Um, because of my interest in fashion, I would research and learn how the fashion industry was harmful to vulnerable communities and the environment. Um, from there, I gradually phased out purchasing from fast fashion brands. And so when I learned about these new concepts, I really connected with slow and ethical fashion because I personally really want to encourage extending the longevity of the clothes you know we already own before purchasing new ones, amplifying the voices of garment workers and advocating for their rights. Uh, it's also really about asking, do I really need that new pair of sweater or that new pair of shoes? You know, um, that's why I really like advocating for thrifting, buying secondhand, doing clothing swaps with your friends. They're really great ways to give life to new clothes, but also divert them from landfills. Especially now, you know, we there's so many like commercials and the media is always saying like, this is new. You should buy into this product. Oh, we just dropped this new release. And it's like, we feel obligated to always kind of keep up with, with the trends and, and to buy new. That reminds me of a story time. It was a, I think it was an IG reel on your page. It was like a secondhand coat or something. Yeah, when I was like in maybe middle school, my aunt gave me this jacket. It's like with the shearling lining. So I've had that jacket for like 10 plus years now. And I would get a lot of questions like saying, oh, where'd you get it from? And I get, I don't know, I get really happy um, saying that it's secondhand from my aunt. That kind of takes us to our last question for this podcast. What are some great online resources that you have to offer for someone who's interested in getting into slow fashion? I would say for the sake of time, I'm just going to list like the first three. The first one I would say is a documentary. It's called The True Cost. 
Um, it was filmed in different parts of the world to shed light on who's creating the clothes we wear and the prices they pay to keep that low cost of clothes. Um, the second is called Fashion Revolution. It provides educational tools and resources to learn about transparency in the fashion industry. And the third one is called The Slow Factory. Um, it's a really great platform that provides free education on climate justice and the environmental and social impact of fast fashion. Yeah, and there are so many more resources so we're going to link that in the description below if you're interested in learning more about slow and ethical fashion. Before we end this podcast, you know, Christy, you have a channel of your own, your little YouTube channel, and your own um, Instagram platform. So real quick, do you want to talk about that? What can people find on there? Um, yeah. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, so it is uh, a little bit new, but yeah, check out my Instagram at Tara Styled. I'm sure Casey will have it popped up somewhere. Um, I have so fashion outfits inspo, educational posts about environmental justice, and some entertaining reels. Um, on my YouTube, it's just my name, so it's at Christy Chi. Uh, there, I have so fashion edition lookbooks, and I'll also be posting videos on like tips, info, and of course, showcasing my journey in ethical fashion and living a sustainable lifestyle. Go ahead and check out Christy's YouTube and her page on Instagram. There's some dope content on there. Christy, thank you so much for hopping on and sharing your knowledge. You know, I think we all can be a little bit better about, you know, shopping smart, you know, supporting local and using what we yeah, have. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity and space to just share what I'm passionate about. Um, yeah, and I just want to like also say like, it's okay to also purchase new items here and there if you really want to, but the things that we talked about today, you know, it's just always good to keep them in mind. Absolutely. That wraps up today's podcast. We will see you guys in the next one.